you guys, it's Shannon Rose and welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day wherever you are and do not forget to drink your water and stay hydrated. Today we have a lot to talk about. If you don't follow me on Instagram, um, you wouldn't know this, but I wasn't able to post Tuesday's vlog because I just wasn't in the right mindset to be filming that day. Um, a lot has been happening here that you guys haven't been able to see, but I wanted to kind of fill you guys in on some of that stuff in today's video, kind of catch you up to where we're at. So right now I am currently doing IVF. If you're new to my channel, maybe this is the first video you're watching. We're trying to have a baby. That has been a lot just on its own, you know, like going through IVF is a stressful thing. But at the same time, we are also trying to sell our house. Um, we also have been looking at houses to buy. Um, and also something happened with snow. Um, and that was the main reason like why I couldn't or why I wasn't in the right mindset to film. Snow's totally fine. Um, thank God. But uh, yeah, so I, I just like kind of want to talk to you guys about everything. So... First things first, I'm on a lot of medication um, that like makes me really like just not feel well, tired, feel sick all the time. Like I feel like I'm just like always hungover. It's just like not fun. That has been a lot and I've just been going to the doctor a lot, um, trying to just like wait and see if I'm able to do my transfer. And I'm hoping like in the next video or two, I'll be able to let you guys know if that's gonna happen or not. So definitely stay tuned. That's just been taking up a lot of our time and making me yuck. Um, the second thing is, as you guys know, we've been trying to sell our house. Um, and the past couple days, there's been a lot going on because of the whole like COVID thing. We, um, you know, put our house up in the market and it's been on the market for a long time now, but nobody could come really look at it. Yeah, that was just like a whole thing. But now people are starting to come and look at houses again and we've been able to look at houses ourselves that we wanna buy. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be putting an offer on a house that we found and we really like. So definitely stay tuned because I think next, the next video, um, I will compile some of the footage of houses we've been looking at and um, yeah, and I take you like house hunting with us. So that'll be like a fun video and I'm pretty sure that will be the next video, so Saturday's video. So we were like all at the same time, like, uh, you know, talking about putting an offer on a house, like, you know, getting our taxes back because we like, you know, filed taxes and it's just like, it's just a lot. And then IVF and then I was coming home from one of my doctor's appointments and I got a call from my mom who said, snow's okay, but <laughs> um, she fell out of her crib and my heart like sunk into my chest. My one year old crawled out of her crib um, and fell. We were not expecting her to be able to crawl out of her crib so soon, but she is really tall and we had her crib like lowered all the way to like the lowest setting. I wasn't here when this happened, um, but thankfully we have a baby monitor and um, the problem is is that she is up like a flight of stairs and so Travis was watching as it happened and at first he had snapped a picture um, which is the one you'll see right here uh, and he was just like oh my gosh I think she might be crawling out of her crib or trying to crawl out of her crib um, and I didn't see this text till obviously after I got home and my mom called and everything but um, by the time he had ran up the stairs once he saw that like she was getting ready to crawl out of her crib it was already like too late she had already fallen and so um, <laughs> At least he was able to get to her like really quickly and thankfully she was totally fine but you know that's dangerous like something scary could have happened um and uh you know i hear sometimes moms that are like don't use baby monitors because they're like oh it's like a privacy thing and you know whatever and to me it's like a sa like a safety thing like if we have the technology like we should use it because it could keep our babies safer you know um especially with instances like that where like you know your kid might be crawling out of the crib and you could you know, be able to like prevent them from falling, um, you know, out of their crib. So uh, I would highly recommend baby monitors. I know not everyone uses them and to each their own, but just from my personal experience, like I would say, um, like it's a must have for our family at least, especially after that whole incident. So anyways, 
That's it. And you wonder why I have so much gray hair, you guys. It's like I'm so, so much stress, but I love it. I love being a mom. It's like the best thing ever. But she's just so wild that she like scares me because she puts herself in so many positions to get hurt so much that it just like, you know, stresses us out. We're already like high strung and uptight as it is. And so came home like totally freaked out. You know, she's our first kid. So we're like first time parents and we immediately like called her pediatrician and had him on the phone and he reassured us that she's totally fine. She's totally okay. She didn't have like a concussion or like anything, thank God, but like it really, really, really freaked me out. I told Travis like we need to like put her toddler bed together today, like take everything out of her room. <laughs> like, So she had like a dresser in her room that was secured to the wall. Um, I didn't even want her like that in her room. Like if we were to put her toddler bed together cause you know she can like roam everywhere. She didn't just crawl out of her crib. She she tried to crawl and fell. And so that was like, to me, that's like dangerous. I don't ever want that to happen again. And so we took like every measure we possibly could to make sure for one, that she was totally safe and okay. And that, you know, she saw her doctor and her pediatrician um, and she's totally fine. You know, she got a little bump on her head uh, and we wanted to make sure that from like then on out that this would never happen again. And so we literally spent that whole day <laughs> and this is why we didn't film um, because you know, I was just like, there was just so much going on and I was like, I'm not in the right mindset to film today. Like this is just not gonna happen. Travis and I together like basically made her room to where it's like <laughs> totally toddler proofed. She shouldn't be able to get her. Um, because she is really wild and she climbs and she just like, she climbs on everything. She like scales walls. She like tr tries to climb up on the like refrigerator by like holding the handle. She, I mean like, she's really just like very rambunctious and adventurous and she is a climber. She wants to climb and get up on everything. And so we have to like constantly watch her so closely so that she doesn't hurt herself, you know? Yeah, she is no longer <laughs> in a crib she is now in a toddler bed and i'm gonna show you guys her room and what it looks like so you guys can kind of see like what we did um and this might look a little overboard to some people but like you know we just want to keep our baby safe um and so we're gonna take every precaution we can to make sure that she's safe when she's sleeping anyway do you guys want to come inside and see her room i'll show you what it looks like she's actually been sleeping in her big girl bed um for like the past one or two nights now and she's done really really well so we're really proud of her so this is exactly what it looks like we're not like cleaning it up or anything to show you guys but we <laughs> always freaked me out but as you can see we took this panel off of her bed so now you know she's like right on the floor and we put pillows <laughs> everywhere and like blankets because we have this like hard floor and this is actually tile and so you know if she were to fall on it it would really hurt so um we just put like we have that rug down and then we have like a bunch of blankets we have comforters we have like her docata and her you know just like all her things like my old nursing pillow just so that it's like kind of like a fort for her and then over here this is where we had the um queen bed for when guests came over um and she would sleep in our room and we had like a box spring underneath here so we just took that box spring out and now this mattress is just on the floor and so she has like the whole room and she has her little air purifier over there so she has like this whole area to be able to like you know sleep and we put her to sleep um you know when we set her down and say goodnight to her we put her to sleep here but she actually ends up sleeping on this bed which she really really likes so um and she sleeps with that big bunny she like cuddles up and it's super cute thankfully she hasn't like tried to pull the curtains or anything and i don't think she will so that's why we kind of left those up but um she has now the uh you know the shutters and then these kind of help black out and this room is actually way darker so it's um it's really nice and then um we ordered things to go over the door so she can't open it but we made like a little thing where she can't open the door we can actually lock it from the outside um, which sounds really creepy, but, uh, you know, until those, uh, door things come in, but she doesn't know how to open the door yet. So, so that's good. Um, and then we keep this, uh, bathroom door shut also. So when she goes to sleep, this is her room. It's actually like huge and, um, 
she's actually done really well with it and she sleeps really well. And then at night when she wakes up like really late, we bring her into our bed because she still co-sleeps with us like late at night. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's pretty, pretty dark in there. Definitely stay tuned because the IVF stuff is going to be coming up on, you know, if that's happening or not. And then also you're going to come house hunting with us in the next vlog. So that's just kind of a little update. And um, for the next vlog, we'll take you with us throughout the day. But I kind of just wanted to let you guys know, like, what's going on, why we didn't vlog Tuesday and kind of update you on life stuff. So if you guys um, have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you guys all so much for being here, for supporting us through all of this. We really appreciate it. We are sending you all of our love and all of our positive energy. We hope to see you in our next video. Bye.